Hey champ, my frog game might seem like a cozy and cute puzzle game, but it wasn't always. Frog Corral was pretty scary, and harder than Dark Souls. So, let's jump in. Frog Corral is supposed to be relaxing, but this used to be my first level. This is not relaxing. The whole game was about avoiding bottomless pits. That's not a cozy environment, and players didn't like watching their frogs fall into the void. And to make matters worse, I punished them with big red X's. Now, I also had a stealth level where you hide your frogs from this giant bird. I think it's cool, but it doesn't quite fit the tone. And that's what this video is all about. Tone. For my game, this is too scary. I had to make some changes. Bottomless pits, scary. Doors, not scary. They both serve the same function, they're obstacles, but doors aren't threatening. Plus, they feel good to open. The game's no longer about how many frogs can survive. All of them must reach the water to beat the level. And I didn't scrap my old work. Later in the game, large frogs can break the ground, creating a hole. But this hole has a different attitude from the treacherous void we saw before. It's not trying to get the player into falling into it. It's just another part of the puzzle. Alright, let's talk about how clunky the controls used to be. I don't know what this graphic is. I don't know if it's a flashlight or what. I thought I wanted the player to push the frogs from behind, but that's too hard. It's not relaxing. I had to face myself and ask, why not just drag the frogs? Why not have a circle that tells you exactly which frogs you're interacting with? And I can highlight those frogs so the player feels like they have complete control. And now, Frog Corral is in a really good place, and it's all thanks to the playtesters that helped me learn what Frog Corral was meant to be. A cozy puzzle game. I'm pretty much done with the puzzles for the demo, but I still have some polishing to do. So, if you'd like to play it or see more updates, subscribe.